gateless gate <laughs> means the mouth is a gateless gate and it is up to you to find out whether what goes inside the mouth is what comes out and what goes inside the mouth if it is a petrol vehicle you have to put petrol diesel diesel if you mix up everything then the gateless gate will not have value hence the gateless gate that you have your samskriti the samskriti the culture doesn't have a gate it is a gateless gate means you have practiced and you know it very well that you will not break out from the culture first important is you know what is your circumstances and then you practice the first love is to your parents to the family and if you understand and stabilize that one it becomes the gateless gate today is the third story from the gateless gate from zen flesh zen bones written by paul ribs gute's finger gute raised his finger whenever he was asked a question about zen whenever people ask a question and if you are going to answer <laughs> then the questioner and you have got no difference the people who are asking the question are the bookish people otherwise when they see the master it's only a smile a love and a folded hand and a shastaka namaskar when the husband sees the wife he doesn't have questions except to just embrace her and put her into his chest the wife sees the husband she just loves him to make sure that something is given to him because he came from far away there is no question the moment the question comes then there is a conflict when there is a question that means that person has not experienced hence gute decided to lift that one finger that means that from one step leads to 10000 if you understand that one and if you see the one finger pointed towards the moon and either you travel that path to the moon but if you take that finger and you worship the finger then you are not a disciple when that one finger the family raised up that is the culture and the children take that finger and go and tell everybody that is my family without they practicing the culture then the child is dangerous a boy attendant began to imitate him in this way when anyone asked the boy what is master's preached about the boy who raised his finger that's what every child was doing what is the father's name to tell the father's name he has to love the father and the mother what is the father's name and the mother's name to repeat it he has to understand the sanskrit and practice the sanskrit a thousand times but the child just blurts out the father's name and mother's name where is your family the child blurts out the family without understanding melting with the family you have no right the boy raised a finger when anyone asks the boy what is master has preached about the boy who raised a finger without knowing what is the value of that finger that's what everybody is doing even you don't practice it but you don't understand the science behind that samskriti then you're going to be sick what food can go inside that you eat fruits before your meals do you drink water half an hour before and one hour after you chew your food yes when you have diarrhea when you have constipation the three things which you have to practice is that you do a lot of exercise 
You drink a lot of water. Of course, when you drink the water, you have to chew the water. And as much vegetables as possible, as much vegetables as possible. But without understanding that one, you go outside, your eye get attracted to every shop and you wanted to buy that and put it into your car. Thinking that is petrol, the car breaks down, the body breaks down, the mind breaks down. You are allowing your body to become a slave. You are the master of the slave of your body. And it deteriorates very fast. 